Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, I want to show you the data that came from the Salesforce org to the data cloud org. Okay, so we kind of gotten the context from the Salesforce org inside of the data cloud org and uh, we refreshed the data stream and it took about a couple of hours, at least three to four hours to get the data inside the data, uh, to see the data inside of the data explorer. So you can see here the uh, data stream here, it says the last run status is successful so once it is successful, then you can actually see the data through the data explorer. It also tells you how many records it kind of received and it, there are a total of about 156 records. Now, if for any chance the run status was failure, don't worry. All you need to do is you go back to the data stream and just refresh now again. Click the refresh now button again, wait for a few hours and after like three to four hours, you will see the data coming in into the data explorer. So here, if you go to the data explorer now, you will see if you select an object type. Now, what is the object type? We are going to choose data lake object, right? Because we want to see what data came in under the contacts. And here, this is the object in which the records got pulled. So you can see here, it'll go ahead and show you the records. So account ID and all of these were blank. So it shows as blank. It has birth date, contact ID, created date, all of that. Now there are total of 50 columns, but you can't see all the columns uh, at once. You can see here, there are total of about four, uh, eight, 10 columns you can see right now through the data explorer. But what you can do is you can edit these columns. You can get rid of you can move the account ID since all these are blank. We can move it on the left side. We want to keep the birth date, business phone, uh, contact description. We don't want it. Contact ID, we'll move it on the top. Uh, created date, CDP source version. I don't think we need this. And then here, creation source, we'll keep it. Uh, it's actually blank, so I'll move it. And then here from this side, we will move the what else we will move data source we'll move it to the right and we will move the email to the right and then uh, first name uh, full name and then you have is the last name okay and if there is anything else you want to do go ahead and get it from you can do that like addresses and stuff photo url we'll move it again we'll move the full name on the top uh, after the contact id we'll put the full name birth date uh, if you don't want first name, you'll do because since we have the full name, we don't need uh, email. We'll put it uh, so we'll put the email here on the top. And then if there is address, you can see which of these columns are not blank and you can show the address here. Uh, we have home phone. Let's move home phone to the right. And uh, these are all the columns now that will show under the data cloud. So you can see your contact ID is there. Uh, full name is there, email is there, birth date is there, and data source. That tells you that we got it from a different Salesforce org. Okay, so it's called as a home org. So because the data cloud is on the same org as we have the Salesforce. So that's why it is showing as Salesforce underscore home. These are the photo URLs. Uh, home phone and business phone is not there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the columns, move the business phone uh, and also the home phone back and then let's see what else can we pull from this side so here we do have let's say if mailing city is there let's see if mailing city and things like that okay so mailing city is there so i'm going to go ahead and edit the column we'll try to add the mailing address uh, mailing country we'll move it and then mailing state if it's available mailing street Okay, so that's the only one. Select the most 10 options we have. So we have mailing state and city, country and state. Okay, so that's fine. If you want, we can move the country and we can actually pull the mailing street. Okay, so this is what we have. And uh, now we got it. So this data basically was, ava was available in the Salesforce home. It's still there. It's not that it removed from there, it's just still there. And we moved that basically we kind of brought that data inside of data cloud. Now this is a denormalized data, right? This is a, because it, it, there is a possibility or right now we don't have multiple emails, we don't have multiple phone, but there is a possibility that one customer can have multiple phone numbers, multiple email, multiple addresses. 
right? So the other thing we can take a look at is we can see the data model object. So we have multiple data model objects that got mapped from this DLO. One is the, these are all the list of the objects, account contact, contact point address, contact point email, phone, and individual. So what is under the contact point address? So here, this is going to show you the contact ID. It's going to show you the address line one, city, and all of this, okay? So that's just, these are the columns that is present in the contact point address. And similarly, the data space is there. It is, if there is any new data spaces, you will see the list here. Right now, the default data space is been selected. Similarly, if you want to see data inside of account contact, you can select that object from the dropdown and you'll see the relationship between the account. Uh, this is account contact ID. Right now, this is not tied to any account. So right now you can see here, if I go to view, what does it show me? It just shows account contact. So there is, uh, if you want to see the record, you can click on this view and it'll take you to the record. This is the first name, uh, individual, ID is this one. If you want to edit the columns, you can do that from here. Okay. So if you want to see the data, you're going to use data explorer. Similarly, there is a thing called query editor. You can also use query editor. So we'll click on new here and here also you can query. So here I'm going to say, uh, test, let's just say test contact data. This is my workspace name and data space is default. I'll hit the save. And uh, this is like running an SQL query. Okay, so here you can see you have multi, you have to replace it with the table name. So there, these are the different table names that are available. If you want to see data lake objects, uh, you can select this one and you can create the query here. And it says select star from contact home. Now, if you want to, if, what it is going to do is if you run the query, it is going to show you all the fields uh, that are present in the contact home DLL. So DLL is the notation for data lake object. DLM is the notation for the data model object. Okay. So here we are selecting star from uh, contact home. So if I go ahead and run the query, what it is going to do is it's going to basically display all the columns. So you can see a birthday is there. And if you move to the right, uh, if you move to the right, you will see the rest of the data being populated. But let's say if you want a specific fields, let's say you're only interested in the first name, last name. So here you can select first name, uh, then you can do comma, last name. So here we can select last name. So this one is only going to show you two columns, which is the first name and the last name. Okay, so you can query on the object as well using the query editor. Let's say if you don't want to query on this, you want to query on DMOs. So here you can select which, if you want to select individual here, so we'll create the query and uh, it is select star from, this is basically the API name. And if you see here, DLM is the notation that stands for data model object. Ideally it should be DMO, but for some reason Salesforce has chosen DLM here. And if you want to include related objects, you can check this checkbox. We'll keep it as it is. We'll run the query and it is going to show you all the uh, fields under and the records that are available under the individual data model object. And uh, right now this is what you see. If you move to the right, these are all the fields that are available and the data that is available under the individual DLM. So there are two places right now which we looked at. One is the data explorer through which you can take a look at the data. And there is another place called query editor where you can explore the data. So far, what we have done is we have brought the data from Salesforce into our data cloud and we mapped it to the DMOs. So that is it for this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.